Uh, special call meeting, so we'll only uh, take uh, in uh, uh, items that are on the agenda. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and a pledge of flag. Dear Lord, we just love you so much. We just thank you for the blessings you've given us in life. Dear Lord, uh, yesterday as we uh, uh, we recognized our military men and women, we just ask and pray that you continue to be with them, keep them safe, and uh, we thank you for the services that, that they have given us in protecting our country, dear Lord. Continue to bless their families. Dear Lord, again, just be with us as we have this meeting, that everything we do will be pleasing to you, and that we look for you for guidance when we make decisions, dear Lord. Thank you for blessing our county. Thank you for everything you've done for us. In your name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the May the 14th minutes, uh, I'd like to have a motion to approve them. So moved. Motion by Larry, uh, Larry Morphew. Hang on a second. Yes, there was a change. I think it's already. Yeah, she fixed it. Okay. I'll second. Second with Joe Barnes. Discuss, Joe discussion, Joe. corrections, or additions? That's the, uh, that's what I hear. On the budget. Yeah, number two, I already fixed it. It was an electronic problem. I don't know what the deal is. It's Take on the board. Good. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Uh, the, the, it's approved. You have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. No late list. Okay. Uh, then motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Discussion. Yes. 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 Bills and claims payment transfers are approved. And the item we're here for is the second reading of the budget amendment that you uh, approved at the last uh, minute, last meeting. And this is what needed to be done to get us through the rest of this fiscal year. The, uh, oh, the budget amendment. So we passed it at the last meeting. I need a motion to approve the second reading. You make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Sam Small, second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Being none, roll call. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Young? Yes. Yes. Um, the extension office has brought their budget by. We worked that into this meeting. And we've got to acknowledge that we got it. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Sam Small. Any discussion? Any any questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed like sign. There is no wastewater board appointment because uh, we didn't have the I don't know didn't have the information on who, who's going off and if they want to stay or whatever, so we'll find that out by the next meeting. Judge, I think we have an old copy of the agenda. We, we have a resolution 2019-18 yeah. land water from Jesse Howard and Brad. Okay, let's do it now then. Yeah. We already approved 2019-18. Yeah, I, I, I can't see. You know, we had to make an amendment on the amount of the grant. So, yeah. 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 Motion. Mm. Motion below our count. I can't see. Do you have a second? Second. Second, Sam Small. Hang on a second. I was asking Joe a question. 
What are we voting on? We have a motion and a second for a Bowes resolution on his land and water grant. We approved it, then the amount changed. We had to change the resolution. What is, is the amount now? Is, it is. Oh. Went up, didn't it? 50% match would be $25,002.09. Proposed cost is 50000 dollars 70 Okay, doubled. Any other questions? Wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Still all going to be in kind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 You're just going to work twice as hard. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Now we're going to do for Justin's this request of a closed session under KRS 61.810, Chapter 1, Section C. Uh, we'll have a motion. So motion from Sam from all, second by Larry Morphew. Let's go to my office, and it should be quick, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Come see you. Yeah, sometime this week is good time. I'll come see you at your office where we're going to do it. I want to get some promotions out there for advertisement. <laughs> okay. That's good. Well, for our membership. If you just want to email me all the information, I can okay. work something up for you. <laughs> well, that's fine. I mean, uh, I can send you some updated pictures to put up there with it, too. So that's yeah, what I've been doing all day today is just getting up. Because I know that you all, you know, they change their sales tax. Yes. Right? So, we, so you all were going to lower them anyway. Did you, you said you were going to lower them below that as well, too? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just, just like to get that out there and promote it a little more. What's your email address? Uh, I've got a card, okay. so I can. And our office is now our home. We just have a few thousand dollars. Just saying, I don't know why. I think we want big grand designs about being in the city and being close to the action, and then, but we don't chase after all the sirens because a lot of yeah. times that's just. So well, just, nobody ever came to the office. So. Right. And we just finally right. decided that we're not going to miss anything. Nobody's going to miss us, so we'll just mm -hmm. go back to the house because well, it saves up on gas, too. So. That's like. You know, everything's electronic now. Why do you need even need to yeah. It's kind of like, you know, the prayer center. Everything's electronic now. No one goes in there. It's, I mean, everybody will fly online. And if you could just get better internet service in Hartford. I don't know about Beaverdam. Well, I don't know. I go into City Hall of Beaverdam and usually can't get in. Yeah, I mean, that's just the but here, so I, mean, I can try to send a picture of it's traveling. It's, I, I, we, we got now, I was sitting out on 231 Main Street, right down there by the courthouse, and just service go away. Like, you couldn't make a phone call. And there's no rhyme or reason to it, because cell phone tower has a new rock. I know, um, this has been a few years ago, the judge made a comment that he was thinking about an employee's not allowed, being allowed to have their cell phones by the desk. And it's like, why well, the problem? Because that's how I communicate. All the magistrates. Yeah. I mean, I'll send pictures of an invoice. I mean, it almost every day. Yeah. I communicate. You already sent text. My phone. What else would we do? Well, there are better ways. Well, you know, you can look at the deal. Why? I know. Sure, there are lots of better ways. Well, but it's no different. It would be Texas is probably. You know, space well, age. I mean, there there are services out there like Slack, which that's just dumb. To me, I, I prefer a messenger of some sort, simply because every now and again, text messages, people, people can use the whole, well, I didn't get that message where you send it on messenger, it'll say, it's yeah. been delivered, yeah. and they've seen it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> their own, their so, own face will pop up yeah. in there. So, like Facebook Messenger, them. just Messenger standalone by itself would be better. Yeah, that's one thing about Messenger. Uh, but there are 
Slack was one that got big. And again, it's one of those things I don't understand why people pay for it because it's just a glorified test. Mm -hmm. But some sort yeah, of... Yeah, all we use is Facebook Messenger yeah. across the time. We don't and I know people don't have Facebook accounts and this, that, and the other, but... And Facebook truth and everything. I don't even follow. I'll text you. Well, see, that's... My phone. I communicate with yeah. a lot of the you know, I mean, your phone's got right there. Part of my job. Yeah. I guarantee oh, yeah. you, the public's got my cell phone number just as much as they got the park office number. Oh, right. <laughs> but I mean, plus, you're probably not sitting around sitting at the office right? a lot either. Yeah, I'm so, not even but like if you're if you're yeah. using a, a messenger or a mess, messenger. But you can get, have, get good cell You can send PDFs oh, yeah. and it's different files that's here that sometimes you just. Of course, if you've got the, you know, the official court's got their own thing here, so that helps. If you run your phone off of Wi-Fi. you all upgraded the uh, cable here? Because I remember back, back a few years ago, it wasn't, I mean, it was fast. But now I think uh, Ed and Terry have like 100 down to 10 out. No, the cable in this building? Like the cable, uh, the cable internet. internet. Well, the hub got, yeah, they, they, actually got they actually got something. Yeah, yeah, the, what they had, they got super duper duper. Well, but they, didn't, they got they got 20 and 20, which is crazy. 20 up is insane. Uh, but I'm just talking about what Spectrum offers now uh, for 50 bucks. Yeah, so we could just see our internet out there in the park. Well, they're supposed to be checking yeah. on it because the animal control got a hard line into the internet. Supposedly, oh, they did, they did. the senior you on the road get a hard line. We, uh, we discovered, you know, we were out there in the house, we were paying more for what we could even get from at and And sometimes we couldn't even stream a movie. Well, but that's because they they <coughs> it. See, the way but the way then it, we went to talk we go ahead and keep going with my story. Then we went to our cousins, and their internet was super fast. They're out in the middle of nowhere. They're out in Utah. They're like, what's going on? Well, they had a hot spot from, you know, at and We thought, what's stupid? We should have had one. Then they said, well, when I had a line, you yeah, had that for 20 that bucks. was something that they had just started. So then offer. we went to get one, and they had just come out with something else that a business had ordered. But didn't come pick it up and said you want to try this and it was what's it called? It's, it's called a router. It's, it's called what it's called home internet. Or it, well, no, that what we had it's called home base. Right. But they stopped making it and started making a new one called wireless internet, which was the Right. So when he name. was calling up to talk because every time about wireless internet, he said, I'm 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 gonna talk about wireless internet. They're like, All right, what can we get? No. The, the wireless the internet you've got the is you all name. The wireless yeah. internet. Well, anyway, it ran off of. It runs off the cell. Runs off the cell phone towers, and you could port a landline to it. So we were like, "This is great." Mom would never want to give up two seven four four three zero eight because <laughs> God's honest truth. Because we've had it since I the understand. beginning of. We've had it since nineteen seventy four. <laughs> so we ported that number over to it and say, "Look, now you're in the twentieth century. We can drop the landline." You Quit paying a hundred and whatever a it was, month. It was sometimes two hundred dollars just for the. And month. we've got unlimited internet, and and I mean unlimited as in Dustin is streaming a movie, I'm streaming a movie, we're listening we to it. We are killing AT and T. They well, we told a neighbor about it. Like six months. We told a neighbor about it, and it was who their internet was spotty. So we said, get one of these. And they didn't offer the deal anymore. And then we thought, well, let's order the same thing we've got, find it on eBay. It's well, no, we had this because the new device they then made, it I didn't went, work out for I went, <laughs> I went round and round with AT&T. So now we've got two of us saying this device does not work. The old device did, but they stopped making it. And finally, they called me after four months, and some of the text messages said, call us. I called them, and they literally said, that device that you will not work with your cell phone tower. Like the cell phone tower at our door. Every other cell phone tower, it's great. We won't work on that one. They said, I said, well, when are you going to do an update? They said, probably not until 5G gets there. And I was like, there's like one place in the world. That's so we were like, so as long as we yeah. keep this, yeah. don't ever unplug it, don't ever unhook it, do anything, 
This yeah. one's gonna work, right? And well, yeah. yeah. And, and, and then we got on eBay and found another one. And got another one. For the office as well. Now since the office is dusty, we've got one in this room. Back of the house, I've got one in the front of the house. But it's that we are just burning now think, them up. Uh, now I think they've capped it like 160 gigawatts a month. <laughs> we're, we're running like two and a half terabytes through. We're running, they capped it at 160 now, we're running 2600 through. It's constant. That's great. And I, they're, they're, they're going to rue the day. <laughs> and, and sometimes they, they pay for us all. Oh, they, <laughs> like all cell towers, sometimes it gets a little spotty and you get yeah. to restart it. And, Mess with a little bit like that. Okay. I mean, you get like 20 up and like 50 or in the middle of the night, up and 20 down. Yeah, and, and you're just in the middle of the night. Can, we're both in there just watching yeah, Netflix. Netflix. He's, He's watching off the bed. I'm watching off the TV in the middle of the night. So it's it's awesome. And it's just whatever it is, $20 a month. Well, no, it, well, it's. Okay, don't the I first, watched the Highwaymen on Netflix. Have you saw that one? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I wonder if it's historically accurate. I, I from what I've seen on other documents of it, I think it's pretty good. What, what is it covering? Billy, uh, no, it's yeah. oh, 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 I was thinking about. Have you seen the, 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 the warm baby and what was it, Faye Dunaway? That, the actual Gene Hackman movie? Oh, it's so good. They tend to, they really, tend really to really glorify them. Oh, yeah. It was told from there, Bonnie and Clyde's perspective. Yeah. This one, yeah. I assume, was told from yeah. the guys that well, finally got them. Nobody could catch them, and then they called in this old Texas Ranger, yeah. which the. In, in, the, in, the, in the movie, in, in, the the in, the Bonnie, in the Bonnie and Clyde movie, it was Uncle Jesse. Got to play Uncle Jesse. 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 They were fine. I assume that's who Kevin Costner is in this one. And that's, they, they set up an ambush and just yeah. waited for them to drive by and they just yeah. unloaded on them and killed them. They didn't try to arrest them. They just when he stood out in front of them and said something, and then he saw her reach for something, then they all just unloaded. Oh, but that, that was the intent. And the, and the Bonnie and Clyde, they were hiding in the bushes yeah, yeah. with Tommy guns. This and one and I don't had. know if they pulled up. Oh, they caught one of their own guys. One their own yeah. gang or something, and he told them to meet them there. Yeah. And he was, yeah. cut, he was cutting them loose. And then yeah. they stopped, and they just you know, murdered them, essentially. But Bonnie and Clyde were both insane. She was more. She was more. And, and Clyde. Clyde, Clyde, Clyde so they, said, they said that Clyde had, like, mother issues, and she was just nuts. And he was a, a little nuts, but with her, he was like. And his brother was. They like, said he had, you know, like fits of rage. They just said he was, you know, he had issues. They were enabling one another. And then the brother, it seemed like the brother and his wife, in the movie it was Gene Hackman, and his wife was. Do you watch Life in Pieces that show that uh, Kirk Butler grown on for a long time? Diane Weiss? Diane Weiss was the wife. Oh, yeah. She's. And she's she got out. She got out. I think she, she got injured. She got yeah, shot. She went, or she, went went to jail. she went to jail, but she also did. She also, or did she not spill the beans? Maybe she did. I think she did. But her husband got killed, killed, right? Yeah, I think her husband got killed. Yeah, but, yeah. but, yeah. Yeah. but it. I mean, it was a great. If you like Warren Beatty, and I tend to like Warren Beatty, that movie was a classic. And it just and it kind of gave you a look into what he would, what they were going through. Didn't necessarily try to explain why they were crazy, but you could kind of tell by the way the dialogue was that they were, why some were crazy. Some people were just crazy. Some people were just born. They just don't have whatever it takes to have empathy for somebody. If you know someone that that doesn't have any empathy for anybody going through something, they're, sure. they're a psychopath. Now, they might not be a murdering psychopath, but I've read, I've read plenty of articles where they said the best CEOs in the top Fortune 500 companies are all psychopaths. They're not murderers. They're, they're killers in business because they can do stuff and it won't, it won't bother them to fire it's somebody. Or, it's, it's, like, it's, like, you know, it's, like, it's like when you spin off a coal pipe. I don't know if he's a psychopath. Bankrupt, yeah. I think he's, I think he's, I think he's a narcissist. And he's got some issues, and, and as much as I dislike the way he acts, and, and a lot of times I'm not lined up with him, I do 
do kind of feel sorry for him because he's lacking something that he needs to have people like him all the time, and when they don't, he just flamethrowers, mm-hmm. thinking that'll make me feel better, but it's not going to make you feel better. Yeah. He's just, I don't know. His dad was a man there too, so maybe the dad. You know, it's it's, was it's interesting to watch because with you know Nancy Pelosi and they have their own issues, like you're idiots. And you're, Anybody know, who is, runs for that high of an office, mm-hmm. there's got to be something wrong with it. I read another article about that. That you know, our best and brightest aren't running because why would you want to go why? through all that? Uh-huh. Why would you want to go through the smear tactics and these these billionaires who are paying these people to dig up dirt, put out and lies, and, it goes back, it and goes then back the candidate would say, well, I don't. Well, I don't like that. Come on. Well, now I don't agree with that. Mitch Daniels was was the governor for Indiana. The housing crisis happened, and Indiana was the only one that really survived it. Completely, totally unscathed. Still had money, had surplus, no problem. And he was going to run for office, and then his wife, his wife put the kibosh on him because he had an extra money. And she, she was, was the one. one. She yeah. apparently his ex-wife and her ex-husband. They all kind of. They heard of each other in the course. And Did he not? The other one. And she said, you know I hate to comment, but no. To me, you're picking up a little uh, uh, double down. Actually, I've lost a little bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Where at? I'd like to know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my shirt got a little snugger though. <laughs> but thanks for pointing out. Well, yeah, I just, uh, I'm a very observative individual. You know what I mean? So make a motion, we'll go back and say it. Second the motion. Glad I didn't wear tight shorts or something. All in favor say aye. No. Okay, we're back in open session. Uh, I will state there was no business taken care of in in uh, uh, closed session there was a discussion on a litigation matter which uh, uh, Larry uh, I mean Justin Cowan's going to tell us about it and then we're going to whack on it yeah I'd ask the, the court to entertain a motion to retain the Gabbard law firm to represent uh, our claim as it relates to the national prescription opiate litigation and uh, for the judge executive to have permission to sign that litigate that uh, retainer agreement. I make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Sam Small. Any discussion? Uh, shall know the opioid crisis is very costly to county governments uh, through uh, uh, police work, but mostly through the jail. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that on given days, uh, 80% of everybody that we have in there is from some sort of drug, and most of at a high percentage of that is opioids. And meth, I suppose. Yeah. Well, not uh, meth is not as bad as it was. You've been to Fort Hill lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have alleys up there, meth alleys. <laughs> In fact, yeah. they just picked up two in Fordsville. Yeah. Just two or four days ago. Oh, my. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. With this being a special call meeting and we've completed everything on the agenda, uh, this meeting is adjourned. Yeah.